are watching Wino TV in Puglia. We have made our way to the heel of the boot. Puglia is commonly called the bread basket of Italy. It's the source of 80% of the pasta in Europe and produces more wine than Germany. Here in the land of plenty, Puglia's most planted grape is Primitivo, better known in California as Zinfandel. Ciao, Monique. Oh, ciao, Matteo. Monique, welcome in Puglia and the Ognisole Winery. I want to show you the wine cellar. Let's go, please. Oh, fantastico. We're in the cellar at Ogne Sole. Uh, that means everywhere the sun. What I love about Puglia is that you have one grape that us in California, we actually know what it is. It is Primitivo. We think of it as Zinfandel. We also think of it as our grape, Matteo, but you guys <laughs> think of it as your grape here in Puglia, correct? Yeah, yeah that's correct. I mean, it's both. Uh, so we started with the Primitivo, which is the main gra grape variety we have. Uh, we have all over the Puglia. And so since the 17th century, the grape uh, is here. Uh, so it's the main, but it's not the only grape we have. We have all, other two main grape varieties, Negro Amaro and Nero di Troia. Okay. While Negro Amaro you find especially in the south of Puglia. And Nero di Troia you find in this area, which is Castel del Monte area. And tell, talk to us about the wine that you have here. This is Nero di Troia, 100%. The refinement is in big barrels, like the one you see here. And so it's dedicated to the style, the architectural style of Castel del Monte and this area. The churches are often Romanico style. Castella del Monte, this 13th century structure still remains a mystery today. Was it a temple? Was it a castle? Its origins are unclear. Castella del Monte, what is one of the main things people come to see when they come here? The structure, this, this shape, because it's um, the only uh, Swabian castle with uh, this shape. One of the things I think is really neat is the significance of the number eight. There's a lot of eights uh, happening in this castle. Will you tell me about that? Yes, this is one of the eight towers in the castle, and the eight are the rooms at the ground floor, eight are the rooms at the first floor, because it's very strong, the symbolism of this castle. You were saying before that eight, nowadays we know, kind of symbolizes infinity. But it is a, a later interpretation. This is Puglia. Cuoco Pepe put together this fantastic spread for us. Cuoco means chef in Italian. Uh, holy smokes, this is literally a taste of Puglia, chef. Thank you so much for prepping this for us today. For us, it's very easy because this is a Puglia. Puglia is known as the bread basket of Italy. You have some uh, trip typical wheat here, some bread that you made in a, what, a, a 15th century oven? Yes, it is. You want to see inside? Yeah, I want a bite. Are you kidding me? I remember when I first went to the United States, okay. uh, the first thing I saw, like, uh, these young kids watching television and eating cream of peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. And okay. now, with this beautiful tomato, I invented tomato cream. You're going to see Tomato cream? Yes, it is. This is good because in none of the schools nowadays, you can't bring peanut butter to school anymore because a lot of kids have peanut allergies. So now you can bring the special tomato spread. Perfect. Perfecto. You okay. got the cream, we got the bread, it's just, right. like, just like peanut butter. You go and you got it. I love it. Hey, Pepe, I'm going to take a bite of this. Yes. And while I'm eating oh. this, Matteo, will you tell us about yeah, some of the sure. items that we have here? This typical focaccia uh, from Puglia in two different wheat. This, this is a uh, burning wheat, like uh, this one. We made orecchiette with that. 
olive from this period that normally we have fried, so it's uh, sweet olives. Mm -hmm. And of course, taralli, taralli. which is another what is this? speciality from us. Cardoncelli, mushrooms, which uh, there are the, the special variety of mushrooms, really strong and tasty. And uh, they will be also nice with the mm -hmm. pasta, for example. And also the pecorino, so the, 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 the cheese from sheep, okay. normally used in this area. And you know what else we have from this area? You got the Puglia wine. Yes, typical rosé. The Puglia is rosé. We have dry rosé, of course, all of Puglia. We have a tradition since 1940 years with bottling wine in rosé. And we told about this rosé from, uh, uh, especially that represent all the Puglia for our, you know, cheese. Yeah. And normally we say to Pepe, to Monique, thank you for your visit again, to Sabino, salute. Salute! Salute! Cibo e felicità per tutti! What happiness! Food is happiness for everyone! I'll drink to that! Food is happiness for everyone! Cheers! sitting down in a medieval masseria uh, in Puglia. Masseria means farmhouse in Italian. We're at Masseria Barbara, like my mom's name, Barbara. Matteo, we've scored, seriously. <laughs> yeah, this is something great. I mean, those farmhouses were really well known because uh, they were in the middle of the agriculture for the farmers, right? So they were the houses, and at the same time, they were the places where the animals we're in. So the cows were literally, or the farm animals were eating, these were kind of like the troughs behind us. And so we're like cows now eating. <laughs> we're eating so much in Puglia because the food is so good and the, the wine is so fantastic. Tell us about Thank the Primitivo you. that you have. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is Primitivo. We made just with old vines. That means between 60 and 85 years old. We have little, little part of uh, those uh, vineyard, you know. And uh, these old vines is uh, named Essenza Roci. That means the soul of that land, of that area, right? It's a, it's a de dedica to the Primitivo that we like very much. The soul of the land. Yes, we like Primitivo in California too. And I feel like you and I might, or maybe we're having a little arm wrestling match as who came first, uh, Puglia or California? Puglia came before California when it came to beautiful Primitivo grape. This food here is spectacular. When you think about uh, pairing Primitivo, what, what are some traditional dishes here in Puglia that you would pair with Primitivo? Yeah, uh, so normally it's with the uh, meat and uh, also with the, uh, uh, all cheeses. And what do we say? Bon appetito? Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Oh, the food was so fantastic. Thank you. It's uh, authentic, right? Yeah, absolutely. Chef Ricardo did such a fantastic job. I love this Masseria Barbara. I'm going to come back here as many times as I can. Thank you. Thank you for your visit. Eh? It was my pleasure. Do we say tutto bene? Tutto bene. And what Salute. does this mean? What does tutto bene mean? Everything fine. Everything's Everything fantastic. fine. Fantastico. Salute. <laughs> here in the Andrea region. They produce more olive oil here than anywhere else in Italy. This olive tree alone is over 400 years old. It's just one of 15,000 on this family farm here in Puglia. I am with one of the oldest olive oil producers in all of Italy. Savino, your family's been producing olive oil for over 500 years. Wow. And I said I was with one of the oldest producers, which is sort of funny because I just made you seem really old. But you're not that old, but your family has a very rich legacy. Talk a little bit about the history of uh, olive oil production and, and, and how it goes back in your family. Thank you, Monica. Um, my family produces oil since five generations. We are in Puglia, one of the most important regions uh, that uh, produce uh, olive oil in Italy. We produce about 50% of olive oil, and Andrea, our town, where we are now, is the biggest producer in all over the world. Talk about the different trees and how they might influence the, the flavor of the olive oil. Absolutely. Uh, we, we can imagine that we have uh, more than uh, uh, 300, 400 kind of olive oil. Each oil is a typical from the region, is a typical from uh, a land, is uh, uh, well known for a special use, for fish, for meat, for something. So remember we cover for 30 seconds, which we're gonna not do, but through the magic of television, it's been 30 seconds. 
We're gonna give it a good old sniff. Then we're gonna give it a swig. A swig. When uh, you testing something uh, that is fruity, when uh, you recognize fruity sensation, is a good olive oil. So what what is uh, our uh, uh, my idea when I start my business it was to uh, link uh, two tradition of Puglia, the production of ceramic and the production of uh, olive oil. So I just put the two those things together. Handcrafted. Exactly. Talk about the history of olive oil being in ceramics in the past. Yes, uh, uh, if we uh, uh, read about uh, the story of the oil, uh, we saw that uh, in the Roman uh, Empire and also in Greece, uh, they used uh, in the past uh, the big uh, uh, jar of uh, uh, ceramic. Uh, and uh, uh, obviously is the best place where they put the oil. So you can collect the bottle and the, the oil is not uh, uh, only an ingredient, but only also something to, uh, to for gift, uh, something to make a present to your uh, friends uh, when you go to take a dinner with, uh, with them. <laughs>